at the campsite. Oh, we got a picnic table, fire pit, I guess. There's the old beast up here. They're unpacking some stuff, man. Let's get to her. Oh, her ice is still good. And we're going to give you a little tour of the camp. You can see our weenie stick there. Water, little stove. Boil a kettle for coffee in the morning. Here's our little fire pit. And our axe. Chair. It's a tent. We've got our wood flew off to the side so we can keep that dry. And in here is the old. Uh, the old bed, we got our kindling right there, keep that nice and dry as we can. There's our lantern, there's our bed, and of course our worms and our beers. Now, let's go get that boat in the water. And here we are at uh, Lake Nicktow, New Brunswick, in Mount Carlton Park. What a beauty spot, man. It looks like I'm gonna have the whole lake to myself. Wet rubber boots. Awesome. Uh, it's just the first setback. All right. A bad time to be in That's why I love my boat sometimes. I can manhandle that baby pretty good. No trouble until my dad was in here. Right there, Timmy Hose. Seat is not coming out. Should come out that easy. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not switching out my seat.
fish just jumped right over there somewhere. Not sure what it was. There's definitely fish in here. Well, there she is, ready to go catch some landlocked salmon. Let's do it. Good morning, just heading out here first thing in the morning to go uh, try for a salmon. Fish on. Seems like a half decent one. He's got some fight in him. Got him in the back. <sighs> nice little fish though. Nice little handlock salmon. It's my first one. Didn't get him in the mouth though. The poor little guy in the back. She's gone. That was fun. First landlocked salmon. It's a good sign. We've had some luck with the Delta Salmon Slayer, an army green, I believe. Um, what I was doing was just uh, find the bait clouds and just work it uh, right above the bait cloud. You'll see the fish. You'll see your jig. This one you gotta work pretty quick. Kinda hard on the arms, but it's effective. So we got rained out, so we're camping in the tent tonight. No fires, got my supper there. A little Oktoberfest, craft dinner, slice of bread. Gotta have your old spicy mustard. Right beside the bed we got the beers. We got one fish today. Tomorrow I'm planning on getting at least two. But we gotta keep going, gotta get some more fish. And, and that's all I'm concentrated on. Just get some grub and go fishing. Hey, we got a little lion lock salmon this morning. Not very big, but starting to starting to get more bites. Starting to figure these guys out. Sure to wet your hands. There he is.
released. They'll get bigger. You get them next year. I'll show you what I'm doing this morning. I'm using a smaller, it's a little mackerel jig, I guess. Just a little lead jig. Working up down, I've got quite a few bites. That's the first one I got though. See on the fish finder. Oh, this one's nicer. Got another one. That one was right off the bottom. Oh yeah, a little nicer this guy. Oh, it's a perch, I think. <laughs> it's a nice perch, actually. Nice little perchy. That might be my PB perch. Definitely my PB perch. There he goes down the boat. Wow, it's a nice little perch there. See, he's sticking his gills out. These things right here are really sharp. And it'll cut your hands right up. I'll throw him back. Well, I wasn't expecting another hit that soon this little mackerel jig's working pretty good once you learn what the fish want how to work it you can pretty well start catching fish there is a bunch of fish feeding and it's all kinds of stuff going on down there right now 10 to 9 the sun still hasn't really came out it's cloudy foggy up in the hills there let's get back down there there we go again we got some fish after my bait See what happens here. That was a big perch. Pretty sure it's the biggest one I've ever caught. So I start at the bottom and then uh, we don't get anything there. A couple of reels. Go again. Reel up again. Just keeping my line as tight as possible while the jig is free falling. Because if I just go like this and let the line go slack, I'm not going to feel the bites because usually they'll take it on the drop. So if you just go like this and keep your line tight but still let that free fall happen, um, you can feel the bite if they, they grab it. So I got a fish coming after my bait here on the finder. No, nope, didn't want it. He took off again. It is chilly this morning. All right, guys, I'll get back to you. I get another fish on here. I got another one. This one feels a little nicer. It might be another perch by the way he was fighting. Oh no. Nice landlock. He's fighting. <laughs> Almost lost that guy. Having a good morning. Wet your hands. Try to get a quick release here. There we go. Look at him, eh? Nice fish. And there he goes. You guys probably didn't get that. I could take the camera off my chest and put it on the mount or put it down in the water, but I want to let these guys go as quick as possible. The soul mackerel jig is doing great. I mean, it's a jig. It's not necessarily a mackerel jig, but that's typically what people use for mackerel. I had a few bites on this, Castmaster, uh, but no hookups. Also trying this little guy. 
no bites on this one yet. Let's get back at her. See if I can get another one here before I set the camera off. So you can get the whole uh, whole experience. Just when you're out here camping uh, in a tent, you don't really have a lot of options for charging your GoPro batteries. Mark at the bottom right now. I think I felt a little, a little nibble there. That was a bite for sure. Missed him though. One thing about this type of fishing is you got a quick reaction to the bites, almost like fly fishing. You got to set that hook as soon as you feel that bite. I mean, I mean, a lot of times you don't even hook up. It is fairly productive this morning. I think yesterday my baits I was using were too big. I mean, if I was going for monsters, it would be nice to get a monster. But uh, I need to do some catching. There was a couple of times I actually seen on the finder, I spooked some fish with the jigs I was using. So they were obviously too big. So this morning I changed it up to smaller jig and it seems to be working pretty well three fish so far this morning we're doing pretty good see here's a fish he's coming down for it right now he's looking at it he's still looking at it he's still there he's not looking at it anymore i've got another one on me looks like a nicer fish actually two fish are on me right now I might get a bite out of this still looking at it you can see the fish just dancing he's doing a dance Lots of fish on this bait right now. Nothing's really taken. They're all over it. When you're doing this for 12 hours a day, your arm can get pretty tired. See, something followed it down here, see that? This is a fish that followed it down. It's pretty windy. Hey, so we're on this little island at Lake Nicktail. We're gonna walk around the island. I mean, it takes 10 seconds to walk around it, but uh, we're gonna walk around it and have a few casts with this. This same little jig here, I threw it in the water and to see if it had any action. And once I got pretty close to three miles an hour, it had actually a really nice action. So on the way down here, I was just trolling and uh, I actually got a fish on. I don't know what it was because it came off as soon as I grabbed the rod, but uh, so yeah, I guess you control it too. Works good. So I'm gonna have a couple, I'm gonna have some casts around uh, this island here and see what happens. It's a neat little place. I'm just really surprised that I'm the only guy out here. Of the whole lake to myself, I mean, you can't come here for brook trout right now. There's some nice brook trout in here. But the brook trout season's closed. But landlocked season's open for another little while. Great spot to fish. Nice lake. Super clear water. I wonder how deep it is here. You never know, eh? Worth a try. Probably might get a little perch or something down there. I mean, if you like yellow perch, this is a great spot to come to. There's a little spot just down this way somewhere I was last year and I was catching perch like crazy just with a worm. I'm surprised I got that perch this morning actually on this thing. Nice big perch. Moving on. Well I'm moving on up. 
Hey, was marking a lot of fish over this way. I actually was casting one of these little jigs uh, earlier this year and caught a straight bass. At least you guys get to see this little island. It'd be a great spot to come in the summer and uh, I don't know if you'd be allowed to light a fire here. Nice spot for a shore lunch, that's for sure. Well, that's all there is to see here, I think. The wind's kind of getting me down a little bit today. It's chilly. It was a September 27th today. That wind is just, it's just brutal today. And of course I came up here without any gloves. My hands are definitely feeling it. But you gotta persevere, right? You gotta wanna catch fish. You gotta, you gotta deal with some, some things that you normally wouldn't deal with. So I noticed this flagging tape here and uh, I pulled up, see what it was all about. And it turns out, you just pull up on the shore with your boat, and you come up here, and there's this awesome camp spot right here. So I mean, it's obviously a campground. It's like walk-in camping. There's bathrooms right up there. <laughs> but look at this, man. You're in your own little spot. You're right beside the lake. You can come up in your boat, you can go down there and fish just from shore. You got the fire pit, picnic table, and they even have a nice surface for your tent. See that? How nice is that? Pretty awesome. Look, like, oh, I wanna go fishing, but the kettle's boiling. Like, oh, I'll just go down and fish from shore while I'm waiting. Beauty spot, man, beauty. And there you have it. What a place, like, just look at it. Just look at it. We're gonna be doing some more videos, and not just New Brunswick either. We're gonna be doing videos in Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, PEI, Newfoundland, hopefully, Alberta probably, everywhere. I wanna travel the whole country and, and fish and see what Canada has to offer for fishing. I also want to go down to the States too and to some of the, like down to Texas and get, get some largemouth bass and stuff like that and see what all that hype is about. I have yet to catch a largemouth bass or a smallmouth bass um, or a chain pickerel. We got landlocked salmon uh, checked off the list as of yesterday. Musky, that's the one we need to get. And that's open, might be open all year round here. Uh, but definitely in October still, it's open. So I might bundle up and uh, go try to get a muskie in the St. John River this October. So that might be the next video. Um, there's going to be some striped bass videos for sure, because that's what's going on uh, right in my backyard right now. Um, I like going out and exploring, catching new fish, changing it up having a good time while I'm doing it. And this trip seems to be going good so far. I think it might be time to go back and get some lunch. Go cook a steak or something. But look look how clear this water is. I don't know if you guys can see as well as me. Let's just test something here. Does that help? Does that work? I don't know. I'm new to this whole GoPro thing, video thing, vlogging, the editing. Um, it's completely new. Everything about this is completely new to me. I'm sure my first few videos aren't going to be the greatest, but you got to start somewhere, right? I wasn't the best uh, striped bass fisherman when I started, but you know, with enough practice, you get good. I, I've been to this lake twice before trying to catch these fish. And it was trolling, 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 trolling. Trying to get your bait down to the right depth. And I just w did not have luck with that. So this trip, I said, drop the trolling gear and let's try something different. So I decided to go vertical fishing. That was really the only other way I could get down to where the fish are. And it's working for me. An even better one. Look at that. Look, even comes with a clothesline. Nice. All 
I'll show you what the better part is. Not only do you have access to the lake, one thing right here, this is where the majority of the laylock salmon sit, especially in the warmer months, because that's a deep hole, but 70 feet deep right there. Just off of here, like literally 30 feet out, it's like 65 feet. And then you get this, a fire pit by the lake with a picnic table. This is literally, I, I would say this is the most pimped out campsite I've ever seen. Just awesome, man. Well, let's get going again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's raining. But we're gonna go anyways, cause it's a morning bite and it's our last morning. So we gotta get out there. Ooh, legs aren't uh, awake yet. Oh, fish just jumped right there. Coffee this morning. Woo! Nice little perch there this morning. See ya. Finally a fish. Took me two hours, almost. Well, another perch. I mean, they're a bit of fun, but not what I'm here for. Seems like that's all it's in this spot, so I'm gonna move. 
See you later, buddy. Ah, I may as well. There's fish down there biting. I may as well stay here. And give her another try. We got a landlock in the net. Nice. And off the hook. Ooh, don't get away, buddy. Just big enough to keep. The fish gods are on our side today. Oh, let's try that again. Ooh. Nice fish. You ready, buddy? He's not ready yet. Nice fish. Beauty. Check it out. Woo! Check that out, guys. PB landlocked salmon. This looks like a pretty bitey spot from what I've learned on the fish finder the last couple days. Honestly, if I could, I'd spend two weeks up here doing this in the rain. Oh yeah, it's bitey here. They're looking for a meal, some of these fish. These salmon like the chase. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. A lot of times you'll be down here, closer to the bottom uh, where the fish are, and you'll see a fish move up to your bait looking at it oh there was another hit there's a fish little landlock there we go <laughs> Man, they like to fight. These are so much fun to catch. I didn't have to net this guy, but... He's gosh darn trouble hooks, man, I'm telling you. I think I'm a single hook kind of guy, I don't know. Right in the mouth. Got him right in the mouth. Here he is, guys. Nice little landlock. There he goes. 
I think my lure's all screwed up, man. Let's see if we can get another one. My time is almost done here. I'm trying to get a couple more fish before I leave. Oh, I think I've got another little nibble there. What's, are they biting it or am I just crazy? These fish are probably the most fun to catch in my experience anyways. Oh, he's on it. I'm gonna give it a couple twitches and if he doesn't take, there he is. Oh, it's a nicer one. This is a nicer one. Got to bring them up slow when they're down that deep. Oh, that's a real nice one. He's not done fighting yet. Oh, he got off. Literally bigger than my last one. That guy was close to two feet long. Well, I know they're down there and they're biting. I'm literally on my last GoPro battery. Can't believe I lost that fish. Man, that was a nice one. That would have been my PB. You win some, you lose some, I guess. The fish finder is key to this style of fishing. And it's pretty exciting. Man, that was a nice fish I just lost. Jeez. I gave him too much slack. He was literally two feet from the surface. He was right in front of the boat. I don't know if I caught it on the camera. There's some nice ones in here. The old lead fish. I bought those things and they've been sitting around for the last two years. Tried them a couple times or whatever with no luck. So they happened to be sitting in the bottom of this container when I was out here. I didn't even plan on bringing them. And that's what's produced. I, I went to Bass Pro and I spent at least $100 on tackle. And it was the old Canadian tire lead fish that's done the trick. Can't believe that fish got off. Now I'm determined to get another one that size before I leave. Good luck with that. Well, I'm going to sign off, guys. Uh, for right now, I got enough GoPro to probably do my outro.